and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Angie and I'm a chemist who loves makeup. Today's video is going to be about two different brands. They both put out blue light skincare and one got canceled and one didn't. So I'm going to talk about the situation with both of these brands and the public's reaction to them and just my thoughts on both of these situations. If that sounds interesting to you, we're going to get into these topics. Give this video a like if you like these kind of videos and if you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button so you will know when I release new videos about the science behind your makeup and skincare. First situation we're going to talk about in this case is Reflect. Reflect was going to be a skincare brand that was founded by Valkyrie. Based on what I know about her is she is a gamer, she is a streamer, and she was going to release a skincare line that was targeted towards her audience of gamers. The idea was that the products in her line were going to protect you from the blue light that was emitted from your electronic devices and that this is something important that you should be doing. And when this brand was announced, that is when the science community put out their opinion on it, which was not very favorable of blue light skincare. This isn't something new. I made videos about a foundation that claimed to do this before, so did Lab Muff and Beauty Science. I will link both of those down below if you care to dive more into it. So we won't get super heavily into the science here, but basically the science community said, hey, this product is unnecessary. The reason why these products are considered unnecessary, first of all, we don't have a lot of data to show that blue light from your phones is significantly going to impact your skin. Even if there were, the sun actually emits significantly more blue light than your phone does. So if you're going to be worried about blue light, it should be protection from the sun, not your phone. And honestly, when this brand was announced and scientists were starting to talk about it, I didn't get really involved because we've already talked about this before. I've already mentioned how I don't think blue light skincare is necessary. And I kind of just thought it was going to fall on deaf ears. Surprisingly, consumers actually spoke out against this brand very heavily in that they were basically selling like scammy skincare. And to combat this, Reflect linked to a research study on their website. And that study, if you looked into it, was also showing that the blue light from your devices is significantly less than that from the sun. And when the brand actually got canceled. The products were removed. This line was not launching anymore. The website got shut down. I was absolutely floored. I didn't think we were at a point that a brand was actually going to get canceled for a brand's claims of their product that were essentially being kind of misleading in my opinion. And also these products themselves might have not been bad products. That's why I continue to use the foundation that was a blue light foundation because I really love that foundation. I don't care that it protects me from blue light. That's not why I use it. I use it because I like the foundation. I'm actually wearing it today. I will link down to it below. It's the Milani Screen Queen foundation. But because your whole brand's premise is on this blue light skincare protection, that's why it got pulled, I guess. I don't think this product line should have existed. I think it's kind of sad that they pulled it. Hopefully, maybe the company donated the product somewhere where someone can use it, because they could still be good products, but not with the intention of you're using this product over another product because it has blue light protection. And with that as well, I don't think Valkyrie really probably had a lot of involvement in the development of a product. I'm pretty sure the other investors probably had this idea for this blue light skincare because this has been something people have been doing for a while and then probably came to her because they're like, well, who better to be the face of the brand? A gamer who's in front of a screen all the time. She kind of got screwed in this situation, but also she should have done her due diligence as well. So with that being said, December 21st, 2021 from GCI, I got an email that's like their newsletter. This is a cosmetic industry publication that mentioned that Florence by Mills, Millie Bobby Brown's brand was coming out with a blue light skincare line. And after all the backlash that Reflect got, I was, I was taken aback. I couldn't believe that another brand was going to put out this line after she got raked over the coal. And then I find out that this brand has been out since like August. But the only mentions I can see about this blue light skincare brand on Twitter, for instance, were in response to people canceling Reflect. I don't know how this Florence by Mills blue skincare line 
flew under the radar. So in that newsletter, I clicked that link so fast, let me tell you. And it says in the article, it says blue light defense has been one of the hottest innovation spaces in beauty for at least the last four years. Now Florence by Mills has launched the Blue Light Collection, a trio of skincare products focused on protecting skin from damaging blue light that comes from electronics, specifically electronics. It includes a moisturizer, toner, and makeup setting spray. And it seems that the compound that they're using to protect against blue light is plankton. Another issue with this blue light skincare is even if we did need to protect from the blue light in our electronics, let's say that was a valid argument, these don't tell you how much they protect. There's no scale. Like if you think about SPF, there's a huge difference between if you're using a moisturizer that has SPF 15 and a sunscreen that has SPF 50 plus, right? But how do I know this plankton extract is actually protecting me that much? There's no scale, there's no nothing. And that information about the plankton was what I found in an article that was put out by Florence by Mills. And the only thing that they linked to as a source was a Harper's Bazaar article that probably links to the same studies as everybody else does. So we don't even know how well this plankton extract would actually protect you. It could just be a wee little bit. And in their own article as well, I also found a lot of statements that I also didn't really care for and that I had a lot of issue with. I feel that these three products from Florence by Mills should get pulled off the shelf as well equally as what happened with Valkyrie. I'm gonna assume that Valkyrie's audience isn't necessarily young teenagers, whereas I know Millie Bobby Brown's audience are younger teenagers. Two of them are my own nieces and are obsessed with Millie Bobby Brown. I'm not gonna place the blame on Millie Bobby Brown herself because I don't even think she probably has that much involvement in this brand. This article spoke a lot about why you need to protect against blue light from your electronics and then the only source is a Harper's Bazaar article because I don't think teenagers are gonna really vet their sources that well and the reason why I feel so strongly about this is because I know for me what I equate it to is if Britney Spears had come out with a skincare line I probably would have been first in line to buy it and so they're gonna want this so if I were a teenager and I were to see this article from Florence by Mills and by extension Millie Bobby Brown I would probably also want to buy this product and think that I need to protect myself from blue light skincare. One statement I had a lot of issue with in here is that when they listed their skincare routine using these blue light products at the end was step five, you can watch your Netflix guilt free. So, so this is what I always have issue with is guilting people into thinking they're not doing enough for their skin and therefore they should buy your product. That is the kind of marketing that I dislike the most are ones that are guilting people into using your products by making them feel they are not doing enough for their skin. I feel like this is taking advantage of a lot of teenagers who are going to want to buy this product and are essentially being guilted into using this product. And again, I don't think Millie Bobby Brown should be attacked for this. She's already gotten attacked in the past and I don't even think she has very much to do with it. But the brand should be held accountable for putting out this product and the articles that they are putting out targeted towards teenagers. But if you are someone who reached out to Reflect and were criticizing that product, but you should also do the same for these other lines too. It seems like a really big double standard because it was an influencer who is the face of a brand that we sit there and pick apart everything. And while that criticism was very valid and I agree with it, we need to do the same for these other brands who are faced by celebrities. Florence by Mills line had been out since August. That's wild to me that I heard no criticism on this whatsoever. And it's targeted at teenagers. You have thoughts on these down below. Maybe you disagree with me. Maybe you think the reflect line is worse than this line. Please let me know down below. I would really love to hear your opinions because personally, I think both of these lines shouldn't exist, but that's just me. So if you liked this video, give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you hit the subscribe button so we can talk more about the science behind your makeup and skincare. And with that, I will see you in my next video.